Gonna react to the episode of the Loud House Fright Fight. I was supposed to do this over a week ago, but I was busy. Hope you enjoy. Pass the blood sausage. Thank you, Fangs. Uh... Our breed is dying, Tristan. We must continue to transform mortals or face our greatest fear. Fewer dungeon parties? <laughs> no, dense nephew. Extinction! <laughs> Probably because of the demon infestation property taxes. Clearly, they didn't appreciate its charm. Oh, <laughs> let's go examine their fresh meat. I'm a bat. <laughs> You'll get there someday, Boris. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Look, empty bottles of coffin polish. And this is the good stuff. For that eternal shine. You guys, he's moving at night. He threw out his mirrors. He ordered bloody steaks. He has coffin polish. This guy is a vampire. Gas. Yeah, I know where this is gonna go. Do you know what and I mean? know all of you are thinking the same thing. sure that's appropriate for an eight-year-old to show off her skin. Why is he talking to her? Even if it's just a mess. And what did she just sign? She didn't even sign it in blood. <laughs> Speaking of blood, maybe this will get his attention. <laughs> you got ketchup under my contact lens. <laughs> it's burning my ocular nerve. <laughs> Do you want eternal life or not? Uh, 
cool. <laughs> I always thought I'd make a great vampire. Gasp, did you guys hear that? He's signing those people up to become vampires. <laughs> Look, he's going into the arcade. At least, I think so. My eye is still on fire. Perfect. <laughs> I have an idea that'll definitely get us on his Guy's yeah, probably a director or something. I haven't seen the episodes, so I'm just making a guess. Well, Boyce's veins can barely contain all this pumping blood. Hey. <laughs> Those polo wearing pizza munchers? Why, they're positively preppy. Yeah, I don't get it. Their blood wasn't pumping, and they're total normies. He signed up half them all to be vampires, but gave us the cold shoulder? <gasps> yeah, that's cold. <laughs> For Boris. If I miss it, Mother will never let me become a vampire. Let's meet at the house tomorrow and try to get his attention again. What's with all the cars? <coughs> we were right. They were all turned into vampires last night. <gasps> Gas. Mrs. Bernardo? <coughs> Mrs. Bernardo, you've been gifted eternal life and power, haven't you? <sighs> One thing's for sure, he has terrible taste. He's building an army of the really basic undead. Wait, Morpheus, that's it. This guy must think we're already vamps, because we're so goth. I know what we need to do. We need to go normie. Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone, it's time to walk the normie walk and talk the normie talk. Lemonade, get your lemonade. Huh? <laughs> oh, just two children full of blood selling lemonade for a marginal profit. <laughs> My other eye! <laughs> Rat, he didn't go for it. Here, friends, enjoy this carnivore's delight. Mm. I also have potato salad and coleslaw. Mmm, Boris loves a good BBQ, y'all. Let's crank this up a notch. Mm. Here he comes. Water vessel fight. Water selfie. <laughs> laugh, laugh. Us normal kids love water-based frolicking. Oh, come on. We pulled out all the stops. I even drank a pumpkin spice flavored beverage, and he still doesn't want us. What in the underworld can we do to become vampires? Maybe we should just give up. Our dream is dead. No. If anyone deserves to be vampires, it's us. I know they don't do this on Vampires of Melancholia, but I say we just make him turn us. So wait, we can ditch these absurd, breathable garments? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Listen to all those people. He must be inside turning more vampires. Well, we're next. Future vampires, descend. Yeah, this is gonna end bad for them. Fight us! Turn us into vampires! We beg thee! Cut! Can you get off my casting director, please? But he's a vampire. Oh, uh, okay. I know I'm pale and I work for Vampires of Melancholia, but can you spare yeah, Paul me the did. He's a Wait a minute. Well, you guys are wasn't a director, vampires he's an actor. Melancholia? Yes, and you kids are ruining my big break. Confused vampire number seven is the role of a lifetime. Mrs. Bernardo, why didn't you just tell us what you were doing yesterday? Oh, a good actor never breaks character. Uh, I mean... Uh... <laughs> Okay, that's enough. It's time for you meddling brats to go. You're in the shot. Sigh. Wait. Huh? These kids are the gloomiest, creepiest, weirdest creatures I've ever seen. <laughs> Even their grandpa is creepy. I guess that's a compliment. Boris is only nine, but still very flattered. They'd be great for the season premiere. They're obviously real gods and not just a bunch of randos from the mall. Wow, could this possibly get any better? This black cherry juice is simply smashing top notch. Penguin! Oh, cheerio, spooky children. <laughs> he called us spooky. 
Watch the shoes, please. <laughs> Scene 40, take one. Rescued from your mortal state, my creatures of the night, rise and embrace your newfound vampire power. <laughs> oh, huh? <laughs> my minions, have you shed your earthly attachments? Our human life is no more. Yep, and you dudes are gonna love the no bedtime thing. Uh. Thanks for helping us, like, not go extinct. It was our displeasure. <laughs> Whoa. Well, have a nice day.